Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I recently discovered an intriguing old project named Open Agents. It's an open source platform designed for language agents operating in real world scenarios. This framework allows for the deployment of autonomous AI agents either through applications or as tools and plugins. Interestingly, you can configure it to manage your operating system. Open Agent seeks to integrate various tools to augment their functionality, creating an intelligent agent that focuses on user needs. Currently, you can deploy three distinct types of agents through Open Agents, each tailored for different application scenarios. First, there is the data agent designed to assist with code generation and data tools. Second, the plugin agent allows you to harness the potential of real world applications via a plugin system. Lastly, the web agent enhances internet navigation and browsing capabilities. Let's explore the capabilities of the data agent deployed by Open Agents. Welcome to the Xlang Data Agent demo tutorial. Today, we'll explore how this powerful AI assistant can assist you with various data related tasks. Let's jump right in. Now, if I ask for some stock price data sets, the data agent will utilize the Kaggle search tool to find relevant data sets for our analysis. With the available stock price data sets, we can choose one to download and apply it to the current chat. The data agent will now give some basic information about the file and give some insights about what I can do with the data. Now, I want to visualize the open and closing prices since 2022. The agent will leverage the capabilities of the eCharts library to create an interactive line plot for me. I can also ask the agent to do some model training, like an ARIMA model specifically on the closing prices. You can see that the agent fails several times, but in the end it gets the fitted model and draws a plot to reflect the regression results. Furthermore, I can also continue the previous turn and ask for an overall summary about the trained model. Isn't that amazing? This is just a glimpse of what open agents can do. There's much more to explore. Throughout today's video, I'll be delving into additional use cases and showing you how to get started. So stay tuned and let's dive right into the video. In today's video, we're exploring open agents, an older project that's gained recent attention since it's launched about six months to a year ago. This innovative framework is comprehensive designed for developing and deploying autonomous AI agents in real-world environments. It offers the necessary infrastructure and tools for hosting and utilizing these agents across various real-world scenarios. Uh, you'll notice three distinct types of agents. First, there's the data agent, tailored for, for facilitating data analysis using various programming languages and related tools. Currently, Python and SQL are highlighted but the documentation suggests the flexibility to implement other programming languages to leverage the data agent's capabilities. Okay. Next, there's the plugins feature, boasting a diverse array of 200 daily tools for tackling various tasks. Lastly, the web agent enables autonomous web browsing capabilities. While we've seen the capabilities of the data agent, let's now delve into what the plugins and web agents can accomplish. Additionally, Open Agents highlights its ability to analyze data, invoke plugins, and control browsers like ChatGPT, all with open source code for straightforward deployment. It offers full stack chat web UE agent methods and much more. And furthermore, there's the capability for Open Agents to control various operating systems, a feature elaborated on in more detail in the accompanying research paper. I'll include links to all the resources mentioned in today's video in the description below. Now let's delve into a specific use case of the plugin agent. Introducing the plugins agent. Let's dive into how this advanced AI assistant can assist you in various daily tasks. I'm selecting Klarna, Currency Converter, Get Your Guide, and Weather Wizard. It's worth noting that the plugin selection can be automated using the auto feature. I have asked about attractions in Toronto. The plugin agent taps into the Get Your Guide plugin and presents recommendations in a visually appealing format, complete with images.
After learning about Toronto's attractions, it's only natural for me to consider my budget and check the currency exchange rate. With the plugins agent, this information is just a question away. Now I'm curious about the weather. A simple query is made and the agent prompts for more details. It's intuitive, understanding the necessary information to interact with its plugins. Once I provide my travel dates, the plugins agent employs the Weather Wizard plugin to fetch the weather forecast. The agent isn't just about fetching data. It can also offer recommendations based on the information it receives, like suggesting clothing based on weather. From the suggestions, if I find items of interest, I can inquire further. The plugins agent presents product details in neat little cards, allowing me to delve deeper or even make a purchase. As you observe, the plugin agent is designed to leverage a collection of 200 diverse plugins. It can employ a single plugin or multiple ones seamlessly without any authentication requirement, as additionally, it can utilize multiple plugins simultaneously, allowing the system to automatically determine the most suitable plugin for a given task. This is the core functionality of the plugin agent. Now let's delve into what the web agent is capable of accomplishing. Welcome to the Xlang Web Agent Demo Tutorial. Today we will explore how this web navigation assistant utilizes the web to enhance your experience. Let's get started. The user is entering a request and the website will call the web agent to fulfill it. Now the web agent has been activated. A new page has been opened. The web agent extension is now being activated. We will wait for it to navigate the web page step by step. As you can see, the agent is interacting with the elements on this page and entering data into the input box, similar to a human navigating the web. The web agent has now completed its task and returns the information to the chat interface. Now the agent is summarizing the movie comments for the user. Now the user can input another query. The user wants the agent to post a tweet on their behalf. Now the agent will perform a similar task to the one it did during the first query. It will navigate to Twitter and post the requested thread for the user. It's truly fascinating to witness the web browsing capabilities of open agent. Now let's recap the data agent. It comes packed with tools for efficiently handling, manipulating and visualizing data. Not only is it useful for data-related tasks, but it's also employed for code generation. With the data agent, you can execute code and work with a variety of programming languages all within the open agent framework. After reviewing the research paper, I stumbled upon a fascinating benchmark assessing various autonomous AI agent frameworks. Among them are Autob, Teat, Baby AGI, and several others renowned for deploying web agents to accomplish diverse tasks. Additionally, there's Open Interpreter, where Open Agents stands out for its online capabilities and human feedback interface. This feature enables interventions with different prompts and generations, enhancing its versatility and effectiveness. Furthermore, Open Agents boasts a web-based user interface that can be deployed in real-world scenarios. This interface offers over 200 diverse tools and plugins, leveraging the web to generate a wide array of functionalities. This capability positions the Open Agent framework as a leader, outperforming numerous other agent frameworks in the field. And the Open Agents platform comprises two main components, the user interface and the language agent. The user interface acts as a bridge between the user and the agent, 
managing communication, back-end operations, and various other components. On the other hand, the language agent encompasses the language model, different tool sets, and environments. It drives the decision-making process of the agents based on inputs received from the user interface, saying the interactions typically begin with the user's needs. When a prompt is sent, it first goes through the user interface. Then it bridges back to the language agent to determine which specific tasks should be undertaken by the various language models, tools, and environments. And this process forms the basic functionality of the platform or architecture. To get started with open agents, there are three methods available. Firstly, you can utilize the local host deployment method where you can build it from the source. Alternatively, Docker is a highly recommended method for getting started with open agents. Simply follow the provided instructions to compose the Docker build of open agents. However, if you prefer to try it out on your local host, they offer a free demo that you can use to get started. If you click on the link, it will redirect you to a page where it may take a little longer to load. I attempted to sign up for it myself, but it seemed to take quite some time to get started. However, you can see that it's currently taking a bit longer to load. Alternatively, if you navigate to the demo page, it will prompt you to register with either your Google account or your email address. I suggest using a burner Google account for this purpose. You can then proceed to create your account as shown here. Simply continue with your Google account and you'll be able to start using the web interface of open agents. This is how you can get started on the cloud. And that wraps up my video on open agents. I highly recommend giving it a look. Despite being relatively old and not receiving frequent updates, it remains functional and ready to use. Open Agent streamlines the creation and deployment of various autonomous AI agents. I'll reference all the links in the description below so that you can access it right away. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notification, bell like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly.